All right, welcome back to Historic Popper. Uh, so this is Midweek Magic, and I am playing Mono Blue Fairies. So this is my version of fairies with Ninja of the Deep Hours. Um, you're basically using these seven counter spells, some disruption in you come to a river and bind the monsters, and you see the guard approach. And then uh, you have Bone Splitter to end the clock, to st put a clock on your opponent. And then you also have Startling Development to uh, punish your opponents when they try to block. And, uh, and Fairy Duelist as well. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes in Midweek Magic. All right, this is uh, my first game with this deck, so we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I, I don't have a one drop. Um, it's possible I want Network Disruptor in uh, this slot, in the UC a Guard Approach slot. But um, Fairy Duelist into Ninja the Deep Hours, I think that's a keep. So let's see what my opponent is playing. Ooh, green white. This is most likely ancestral mask. So hopefully I can draw a counter spell soon. Whenever a land, okay. Interesting. So this looks like green white landfall. Yeah, so going to ninjutsu here. Draw a card. And green white landfall, I don't expect they'll have much removal, so I'm gonna take uh take the turn to use my bone splitter here. Yeah, you gain some life. Oh, look at this. Core Celebrant. Interesting. And he attacks. Okay. Interesting. Because that means my ninja gets to attack. And I'll either ch uh, draw a card or he has to chump block. And Fairy Seer is great. You get to scry two here. Um I don't think I need another Fairy Seer. And let's end the turn. So find the monster, okay. It's not it's not the kicker one. Um Yeah. So he's gaining a ton of life here. Lunark Veteran. Interesting. And another pot. Nectar Pot. <laughs> so does he attack here? It's possible I hold Fairy Duelist and not play it this turn because I, I want to keep attacking with my ninja and he'll, he'll be eventually have to do something about it, either blocking, most likely by blocking. So I'll have Fairy Duelist for when he decides to block. All right, my opponent thinking very long. Okay, I am going to pause the video here. All right, we're back. Um, 
So I drew a lonely sandbar, which I am going to cycle right away. And yeah, there's a shinobi. So I think I'm going to attack here. Let's see if my opponent blocks. I have a couple plays here. So at the moment, I'm not too scared by my opponent's board. You know, he's going to be able to gain a ton of life. But uh, I'm going to be able to keep adding flyers to my board. And eventually, I'll just be attacking for more life than he's gaining. Yep, so he doesn't do anything. So I will take the ninjutsu on my berry seer. Get seven damage in. Let's make a flyer, let's draw a card, and let's scry two. Ooh, I want that counter spell. So, since I have flyers, this is a mana leak for four. And oh, look at this. Canopy Bailoff gets plus two, plus two. Okay, so green white landfall with some random ETB stuff. Interesting. So I think I just take the free Lunar Veteran, right? Next turn I can bind the monster. And, uh, oh, wow. That is very ambitious. So I wonder if he cracks the Evolving Wilds to make me take two extra damage. He does not. So do I play Bone Splitter here? I think I see what I draw first. So I'm gonna crack in for seven. Uh, I think I'll leave back Fairy Seer. Uh, my opponent is. Alright, got in for 7 damage. Let's make another 1-1. One, one. And let's draw a card. Okay, that's a good draw. I think I put Bone Splitter on my Illusion. And then hold up Counterspell or Fairy Duelist. So, my opponent can gain 2 life from his Nectar Pots by cracking Evolving Wilds. Luminous Phantom, yep, you got it. Don't really care about that. Yep, 2 life. Oh, he's still attacking, interesting. Well, I will take this block on the Nectar Pot. Bone Splitter is just such a good card here, giving my 1-1s extra power. And I think in, in end of turn, I use this... Whoops. Tap target creature. So this is going to let me get in with uh, all my ninjas. Yep, so let's attack for 8 here for 9 damage. Okay, we get to draw two cards, make a 1-1 one, one flying. You know, our engine is online. Um, so let's play the Fairy Seer and hold up two mana for our counter spells. 
I'm not even sure what to be scared of here. Green white landfall. Uh, I don't need another fairy seer, but I'll keep the shinobi. Green white landfall isn't really a deck. Oh, interesting. So he's going to tap me with his evolving wilds. Uh, unfortunately, I have the counter spell. And let's see if I have lethal here. Um, I can tap down his core celebrant. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Whoa, he just concedes instead. Yeah, I mean, we just drew so many cards with our ninjas. We just made so many free 1-1s. One um, our, our engine was online, and my opponent playing uh, green-white landfall couldn't, couldn't beat it. GG's. Alright, we're back with Mono Blue Fairies in Midweek Magic. Um, yeah, this is a perfect hand. We have our one drop fairy into Ninja of the Deep Hours. So, let's see what my opponent does. I've been, uh, I, I've liked this card and also sort of not liked it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, mono red. That is unfortunate because he can kill my fairy before I can ninjutsu it. So we'll see if he kills it here. I So I did draw the fairy duelist, which is why I didn't sandbag this fairy. Oh, interesting. He doesn't have any plays on two. So I might just cycle startling development. Oh, look at this. He's playing red green. Okay, in that case, I'm definitely playing uh, duelist out here to get my ninja going. Let's get a free draw here. And play our land. So I'm looking for counter spells. You know, these big green creatures. Um, I have Lofty Denial, Essence Scatter. Those are going to be really good against uh, my opponent. Ooh, wow. And I think I'm going to keep up one mana. I'm not going to cycle Startling Development. Because... I still want it as a combat trick. So let's attack here. Get to draw. Um, yeah, I think I just passed the turn with Fair Duelist up. My opponent has 4 mana, possibly 5 mana. Having these two has been sort of awkward, but it did let me get in for attack with Ninja's last match. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's possible I shave one or two for a network disruptor. Another 1-1 one, one, uh, artifact fairy, I think. Oh wow, he's attacking. So I will take this presumably. It's a shock. No. Okay, my opponent just... Uh, a little bit inexperienced, it looks like. So this is midweek magic. There's a lot of casual players. Uh, if you're interested in playing more Historic Popper, you know, join our Discord. There's a link in the description. I will draw two cards here. Um, let's play the Seer, Scry 2, and leave up counter spells. Uh, I'll take that, yeah. As a sort of hedge against his uh, greater sandworm. But I mean, with two counter spells, a starling development, two, you see a guard approaches to tap it down. Uh, I am firmly in control of this game, I think.
So my opponent passed on four mana. He didn't play a land, so presumably he has five spells in hand. Alright. If I can draw a Bone Splitter, that would be nice, because um, that would speed up the clock. Nope, my opponent's just taking five damage here. Interesting. It's possible I should have Starling Development for uh, for damage, but I didn't really want to open myself to a red removal spell. I'll take another Lofty Denial. And honestly, I think I just play out my Fairy Duelist. I still have three mana up. But I don't really want to discard anything. I mean, I would discard the Fairy Duelist um, at this point. You know, a shock, interesting. So let's give my creature hexproof here. Does he have another shock? Interesting. He's stuck on 4 mana still. I mean, presumably he's playing bigger green creatures, so he could have some dead in his hand. He's attacking with elves into my duelist. Well, I, I'm still going to take this. <laughs> it's, it's basically on my opponent to uh, to have something here. Titanic Growth. Okay. So here I will bounce his elf. And the reason for this is that I'm basically killing a land for a turn as well. And my opponent is just dead on board. But if it mattered, his, his elf would be tapped for one more turn. Well, GG's. I hope uh, I've showcased this mono blue fairy deck. Um, yeah, have fun guys. Bye.